Hey everyone, welcome to The Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. I'm Jaime in Fuego. Back here at the Phoenix Film Festival and the International Horror and Sci-Fi Film Festival 2018. And Fuego, what movie are we talking about now? We are talking about Trevor Stevens' directorial feature debut, which is Rock Steady Row. I was <laughs> thinking like Rock Steady and like Ninja Turtles initially, and then, oh, oh there's another word that's entailed with this. So uh, yeah, it is basically about I don't know if it's quite post-apocalyptic, but I kind of had that kind vibe. Of, yeah. It did yeah. have that vibe. Yeah, it did. And so there's uh, warring fraternity factions that are controlling bikes, mm -hmm. bicycles, and uh, you know there's there's no more sororities, and it's uh, yeah, it's very self-contained and very very darkly comedic, and I guess that's really all that we can say about it before we give personal impressions and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it felt, a, a strange it felt, film. It <laughs> felt like a mixture of like Turbo Kid because of the post-apocalyptic bicycle yep. thing, uh, as well as a little bit of detention with the fast cuts and which editing. I, which I haven't seen, but yeah, um, yeah, and that kind of pacing. So it's uh, yeah, it, it it was definitely interesting. I wouldn't be able to classify it as horror, although there were certain elements, I guess. But even those were a little bit on the light side. Yeah, and that's the thing. Monty Yazzi, the guy who is the director of the International Horror Sci-Fi Film Festival, a friend of mine since grade school, he told me, this film is unclassifiable. And I guess that was a that was an accurate assessment because this is a very strange film. It's, it's hyper-violent in some aspects. It's really funny in other aspects. And then it feels like, I don't know, like Van Wilder, silly stupidity in others. So that's where all over the place, even though I must say I enjoyed it. I didn't love it because I didn't feel like it ever figured out what it wanted to be. I agree with you, actually. That's yeah. a fair assessment. I, I enjoyed it as well, although I enjoyed aspects of it less than others. Um, I'm it, more forgiving than you yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, overall, I thought it was just kind of okay. It was something different, which is nice. Like, I give it points for being different more oh, yeah. than being good. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but I still enjoyed it well enough. The story... Is as Fuego said, it's pretty simple. Uh, a, a young man goes on to the Rocksteady Row campus, which um, has become very cutthroat. He's and the dangerous new Very kid. rapidly gets his bike stolen by the sort of jock fraternity. And there's only one other fraternity, which is sort of the nerd fraternity that's at a warring faction and both trying to control the bike game, as yeah. it were. And it's red versus blue. It's like straight up Crips and Bloods gang violence, which is kind of crazy. So and it's just it's 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 over the top. It's off kilter. Um, it's it's schizophrenic at times. Very much so, in fact. Um, so I if if uh, because of that, it's it's kind of hard to nail down. Um, so I will say that. Uh, the, the acting is plus and minus. I mean, everyone was kind of on the same level. I don't think anyone really stood out above everyone else, and no one was really dramatically bad, but it did feel like your scream, your I know what you did last summers, and it's that vein of, of age, you know what I mean? Yeah, I felt like there were certain characters who were a little more over the top than others, mm -hmm. and both of the leads of the two fraternities, I felt, embodied that very much so. Yeah, they were both like the John uh, Yeah, I know, the guy from the red side. Yeah, the he pencils. was pencils. He's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, but as far as acting goes, once again, not bad per se, but I mean, yeah, what are you going to do in this particular instance where people are written as caricatures, you know, and they're supposed to be kind of one note, very deliberately as such. We even have like some nods from the girlfriend of the lead of the red side to like, like straight up, I mean, Harley Quinn type shit. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that was what she did, and, and we can't can't really divulge some of the changes that transpire over the yeah, course of this. There wasn't a commitment, I don't, I don't think. I not think so much. There, there was some waffling, even character-wise. Yeah. And some elements that were brought in really late in the story that even were like... Even with the love interest of the main guy. The love interest in the... Yeah. But, it but didn't I mean, feel the, very the, the genuine or valid. And stuff, they like came out of nowhere yeah. and things like that. Like there, there's, there's just elements that were disjointed. Like I said, it felt very off-kilter. Um, and so it, it, like, it made it hard to pin down. But... It was entertaining just because it was something that's like, I didn't know what was going to happen next. Truly. And you truly. have to give credit for movies that do that. Yeah. And that the scripting credits, and we kind of talked about acting, obviously, but this is also a well-made film visually. You know, it's yeah. and with the hyper cuts and stuff that you were talking about, um, the occasions where there are actual violence and brutality going down, they're well shot, they're well placed, and mm -hmm. they're, I mean, they're effective in their gruesome nature so i mean you know have to give them credit there the the set design obviously i kept wondering the whole time i didn't see in the credits but if it was filmed in like detroit 
or you know just yeah, a, 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 a dilapidated area <laughs> you know because this is a, a university that is far past its prime mm -hmm. every single home is just destroyed where all these kids are living and so i felt like that was good set design whether it was just opportunistic you know finding a spot or whether it was you know true hard on design or whatever but uh yeah i felt like visually this was a well-made film yeah yeah, in that aspect it was. Unfortunately, in the story aspect, it was not. That's it where it kept falling. Short. That's where it kept yeah. falling short the whole damn time. I mean, once again, I, I feel like I'm like a one-trick pony when I keep mentioning this throughout the festival, but when you see an amazing concept that feels like it could have been fleshed out in a more cohesive, intelligent, and interesting manner, and then it doesn't happen, you're just kind of like, what the F, man? Yeah, you get a little and, bummed. Yeah, and this was another one where I kind of felt that way. Yeah. Even though I didn't dislike it, it was just like falling short, unfortunately. Yeah. So, I agree. Yeah. I agree. So let's not dwell on it. Let's just let people know that if a frenetic movie that doesn't make a whole lot of sense but is completely different and unpredictable sounds like your cup of tea, then go for it. I hate to say it, but it's very millennial. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. Very much so. The film that I compared it to that you laughed, uh, Game of Death, which was one that we yeah. saw during the fall showcase here at the International Horror Sci-Fi Film Festival. Mm -hmm. It... Um, it's got some interesting animated intros and outros and stuff like that, and very well edited, well produced, well put together. Uh, but just certain aspects didn't didn't really hit. So, yeah, I agree. So anyway, that's gonna do it for our review of Rocksteady Row, you guys. Make sure and check it out if it sounds interesting to you. Go ahead and follow their <laughs> progress to know when it's available to you. But until next time, I've been Cecil Laird, and I've been having Fuego. Once again, special thanks to Monty Yazi from the International Horror and Sci-Fi Film Festival. Uh, Patrick from Allied, and of course Jason from the Phoenix Film Festival. Love you guys. Thank you guys very much. And remember, stay, stay scared. scared.